Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators, your quick stop on the internet on your way to amazing nature. Today we are in Mauritius and we are hiking up Priest's Peak. As always, we're going to rank five different categories. That is location, trail traffic, facilities, plants and wildlife, and the payoff. And we're going to rank that on a scale of one to five dodo birds. Five dodo birds. So let's jump right in. So where is Priest's Peak? It is in basically Port Louis proper here on the north side of Port Louis, which is the capital here in Mauritius. It is just under an hour from Mybourg, which is where the airport is, just over an hour from Le Morne in the southwest, and only about half an hour from many of the resorts up in Grand Bay. Regardless of which direction you're coming from, you're gonna find Military Road, and Military Road is going to bring you, and actually, here's what I want you to do. When you are looking for this place, you'll note here on my maps, we're actually putting in the Islamic Center for Disabled children. That is what I want you to put into Google on your way to this hike because if you actually put in Priest Peak, if you actually put in this little plateau scenic area here, you are not going to get in the place you want to be. So put in the Islamic Center for Disabled Children and that is going to look like this beautiful blue building here and then there's a slight uphill road that goes towards the mountain from the center here and that is what is going to get you to actually a sign that says Priest's Peak and this road up to this parking lot, which is rather nice here up at the top of the ridge. So because it is nice and centrally located in the middle of the island, not too far from most places, I'm gonna give this the illustrious five out of five dodo birds. Five dodo birds. Now for facilities, as you can see, this is a nice little parking area here. It's got a platform. This is a great place that a lot of people come to see the sunset in the evenings. As you can see, it's raised up in a nice little viewing area. But outside of the sign that got you to this parking area and the proper parking area itself, there is not a lot in the way of facilities here. There's no bathrooms. There's not a lot of signs on the trail itself. So for that reason, I'm only gonna give this two dodo birds. Now for trail traffic, this is a beautiful spot to see the sunset. And so you should expect plenty of people here in the evening time. That said, if you come in the morning like we did on this day, you'll see that you have the entire place to yourself, which is my preference for this hike. It is a beautiful spot in the morning. The sun is coming over the mountains to the east of you and it is beautiful. Still have a gorgeous view of all of the things. But because of the fluctuating possibility of high volumes of trail traffic, I'm gonna give this three dodo birds. So by far the hardest part about this hike is actually finding the trailhead from the parking area. And you basically need to go right towards this uh, tower that's uh, holding power lines in the area here and you're gonna follow the ridge up and so as long as you're staying on the ridge itself you can't get too lost but there are certain parts where the path is very clear and other parts where it's just more open and rocky and so it's easy to kind of find yourself off of the path if you're not paying attention so just be mindful of where the worn trail is there is a worn trail that should go through any areas that if you're coming into significant difficulty, just take a second and look around, you'll probably find the path is somewhere else. But because you're riding the ridge, you're not gonna be in heavily forested areas, which means not a ton of wildlife, although you can see evidence of wildlife. There have clearly been some of the stags, the deer here. There are other animals that maybe weren't so fortunate. And of course your standard lizards and other things that you might see in Mauritius, but not a ton in the way of bigger wildlife. So for that reason, I'm only gonna give this two dodo birds. Now, a quick aside here, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this was the second time that I had tried to do this hike. The first time I came was midday on a weekend and we encountered this brush fire that had just started, but the winds were such in this area and which should be expected. And this brush fire was uncontained and made its way up the mountain very, very quickly. And honestly, I can't quite imagine what it would've been like to have been up there. And I don't say this to scare you, but just to kind of remind you to always be paying attention about your surroundings, anywhere you are, always just be very mindful of your surroundings at all times, even after you started to hike. So finally, here's the payoff. Well, as you can see, you're riding this ridge the entire way up and it has views for days. It's beautiful. The higher up, the better the views. Amazing uh, lookout for some of the gorgeous mountains to your east, like uh, Peter Boof and Dumamel and others that we've done uh, some other hiking guides here on our channel. And then off to the west, you are looking at Port Louis proper, and you look across the, uh, the way and you see Signal Mountain, which we're about to do another hiking guide on. So there's all kinds of uh, views as you make your way up here. So for the effort that you're doing, you are gaining some elevation, but there's nice steps kind of along the way, not proper steps, but you're just, it's a great hike up. I highly recommend this one. I'm gonna give this four out of five dodo birds. Now this trail can continue on a little ways past Priest's Peak, but this is a short, sweet hike with beautiful views throughout Definitely recommend it, especially if you're in the Port Louis area. Always leave this place cleaner than when you found it, and we will see you next time.